Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, my name is Daisy and this is where I teach you guys to be supernatural, be charming, charm those guys. Cast those parts, you know, love spas, money spas, life spas, you name it. So welcome to this supernatural world. So I'm kind of filming in the very, you know, most weird place ever. Like I'm currently in my mom's kitchen. I'm not cooking anything in case you worry that I'm like, bye. <laughs> so today's videos are a bit different because yesterday was Valentine's and of course I was, <laughs> I spent the whole day home reading and um, just um, reflecting on my life as usual so I had no Valentine's and uh, lucky you. So today's video I'm going to be telling you a story which is probably the rarest of stories I ever do tell because I don't have like tr crazy dramas on my day because I prefer to just chill by myself and just do something useful like read or maybe watch a movie, the originals maybe <laughs> because instead of all this drama like going out wearing red, shouting I love you and so it was last year, 2020, on 13th February. So back then I used to live in the hostels. I never used to live by myself. Like right now I live by myself. Just me, my own rules. It's so fun. So, And you guys know everything that happens in the hostels stays in the hostels. <laughs> so I had this friend of mine who was coming over and, you know, so that we could have, you know, the normal Yushua hostel fan. So he was not a boy. He's a girl, by the way. Shout out, Kaziga. <laughs> So he came, she came to, um, you know, to visit us in the hostel. We had our usual friend, and you know, it was time for her to go home. So we kind of um, decided to escort her to the bus stop. Me and but <laughs> I mean bus stop. Me and my friends. So we escorted her to the bus stop. You know, we go, we go, we go, we go. You know. um, have you guys ever been in town like on a Valentine's Day? I swear. If you've never done that, don't you try it because you're gonna feel sad, you're gonna feel lonely, you're gonna feel broken, you're gonna feel alone, you're gonna feel all the worst things in the world because everywhere you walk, you walk, everywhere you walk, it's red, you know, couples everywhere, flowers, cold, you know, slow, quiet music. Just don't try that shit because you're gonna feel bad. I promise you. So, we just get my friend to. The bus stop and then now it's time for us to come back so we are coming back on the way from ice coaching our friends and then we see these cute earrings and um necklaces you know you guys know those people in town like uh usa necklaces and um earrings and those beauty stuff along the road just you know along the street that's what i mean so my friend starts looking at you know the earrings and stuff so this just beside the hearing place, just beside where this hearing pass on healing Hawkeye is, this this guy was selling flowers like um roses, you know, but they are not like uh, the fresh real flowers, they're like um uh, those um fake flowers. Should I call them fake? You know, they're those fake flowers which are in a basket, you know, fabric ones. So we start looking at the earrings then. Um I accidentally touch you know, one of the flowers and it falls down so that particular guy is like oh you can pick it up she had these he had these um um coast accent i don't know if i should do it in swahili so he's like why is that kuwai um rainbow bendeza so i kind of take the flower and i'm like no it's okay so i return it and she's like and he's like no why are you returning the flower i'm like no, I just don't have money for it. And it's like, okay, Shuku and Akubaya Mimi. I'm like, what? Seriously? Are you paying for real now? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. I don't need the flower. So, because I hadn't noticed this guy was visually impaired. You know, he was wearing like, um, what do we call them? The specs, the goggles. I don't know if they are specs or goggles, but they are definitely dark, um, dark goggles or specs, whatever. So, I didn't know that I hadn't noticed that this guy was um like visually impaired, like not like the actual visual impaired where like he can't see completely. It's like uh, where only one of his high can see like this. I don't remember if it was this high or this one. And then the other one which could function properly was like a kind of grayish. I don't know. He looked just weird. So I returned the flower and then he stands up and um. He takes that particular flower and gives it to me like you know it was in the other side of the in the side where the, the one who's selling stands and I'm like just 
this across across this side like this side in Guinea and so it kind of gives me that it kind of stands up and comes around with the fans like oh, you can have this how oh, I just showed you a knife it's like a as I I enter kunonulia I'm like apana I don't need it it's like I what do the people say I demand I insist, yes, I insist. As of a pan as she can, she is like insisting, like forcing the flower on me. I'm like, okay, fine. So I take the flower and I start thinking of ways in which I'm going to dispose it, maybe like uh, throw away, like on those garbage um, things in town, or maybe give it to a particular poor person around the world, or maybe give it to a friend back in the old and pretend I'm a hopeless romantic. So I take the flower and then my friends are like, wow. Hey, Maze, no, 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 no. I'm just there, like, hey, hey, hey. only my father, like, hey, hey. I'm just like, I'm like, you know, you know, you get that situation. So I'm feeling these weird feelings and I'm awkward and everything. Then this guy removed the goggles and it's like, wait, nanny, oh my god, if I didn't faint that day, I don't know why I'm alive till now because I was shocked. Call it shock. I was shocked. We all shocked. So he takes off his goggles. I'm like, she's like, quite a nanny. I'm like, you know, trying to catch the vibe. You know, the coast vibe. I'm like, night to Saida. She's like, no. I'm born on Nagani. Okay, night to Saida. I'm like, ah, yeah, night to Daisy. You're like, oh Daisy. Oh, I to come to Maua. I wish you could come to Maua. And night to Ivone. I cope. I'm like, night. Okay, so just. Kind of, kind of, I'm telling my friends like you guys should hurry. I need to go. Like you know, you've ever been in that situation where you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to get out of this awkward situation. So the Hassan guy, like he kind of told me that me and to Hassan, so me to I don't remember why he said this from. So me to Wapi, Wapi. You know those calls, calls was to join Viris, to join Vitas. I don't know. So he's kind of like. So such a day is so nipen and bako. I'm like, I am dead. I am officially dead. So I'm like, um, sina simu jamani. I was like, oh, I'm sina kama wa is a kosa simu. Where's the kosa simu? Wait, wait. I'm like, yeah, yes, I don't have a phone. He's like, okay, nipen and but kama ni arafki ako wanta ako pigia na yo. And now he's insisting. Yeah, even as the other time zero seven thing on the phone yo. That moment when you're waiting for somebody to give you her number or his number and you've already tabbed your seven, you're just waiting for the other particular number to, you know, for him or her to say that other part of the number. So it's like, uh huh. So I'm like, I like, I gave him my real number because I didn't want to give out my friend's number and I was like, I have to get out of this situation like right about now. And the only way to go is if I give this particular guy a number and then just. I was like, I'm just gonna give you my number and then if he calls me, I'm gonna block him and delete his number and then I'm gonna throw his flowers away, you know, things like that. So I gave him my number and he's like, he called me and then unlike me, that's her phone, you know, the phone rang in my pocket and I'm like, eh, hey, you're a similar African with me, I can focus like, where am I going with Daisy? I'm a wasa moito saida, I'm like, yeah, I'm Daisy, so. I take the flowers, then my friends like finally finish buying the ring after getting me in this, this, this weird situation. So I am walking with the flowers, and then I meet this guy who kind of is sitting with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> you guys notice that? It's just said wheelbarrow instead of a wheelchair. So he's sitting with a wheelchair, and like somebody's pushing him, the mother, and then I'm like, hi, Sasa. Sasa, I can happy Valentine. I can be no, I can't be a I'm like, I have to keep the flowers. So I keep walking and then I reach this dustbin place in town and then I throw the flowers away. So just after I get to the hostess, to the hostess this guy has like blown my phone up, like texting me, hey, open this, ask you, nini, uli pena mawa yangu, sutu, ili lini, sutu, nini, nini. Vitukaba is just like calling and calling and calling and all stop calling. So I just deleted his number and uh, blocked him as I had said. So, you know, there's this ochres in town that like have a path, a permanent place in you know in where they sell. Like they don't change places. You know, you guys. 
there these orcas in town who, who like have this permanent place and they don't like move you know how nairobi orcas like swift 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 shift oh my god like swift like no from place to place no that person was permanently there and guess who was the real owner of the earrings that guy so this day i'm walking and that's it in case you're wondering it's free, free. <laughs> It's river road, so I'm walking down these streets and I kind of see the guy. Oh my god, I almost ran away. Up to date, I hate you seeing that, you know, that street. Every time I'm walking down there, I'm like, Phew. you know, hiring. So this guy doesn't see because I blocked his number after taking his flowers and doing all that talk, like, you know, lying about my name, like Saida. Do I look like a Saida, guys? You tell me, do I? Hmm. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope that story was fun enough, though I don't <laughs> usually tell stories like that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all so very, 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 <laughs> very much. And happy Valentine's, even though it's over. So guys, bye guys. See you guys in my next video. And don't forget to stay pretty, stay happy. And even if you didn't have the Valentine's, then remember the stars and the moon and the universe and the and the sun got you. So, bye guys. I love you.